Hey there, you little chicken nuggets. It's your favorite game show's host, that game show host, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Welcome back, ladies and germs, to the most crazy, awesome, super-duper, intense game show to ever exist. What's the game show, you might ask? <laughs> well, it's Did You Know. Today's episode of Did You Know is going to be a great one. Do you know why? Because I say so! Today I'll be asking a series of Did You Know questions, and it's up to you to decide whether they're true or not. Are you ready, kids? Great! Are you ready, kids? Are you ready, Carl? I said, are you ready, Carl? Oh, wait, I'm Carl. That's me. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, question number one. Did you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about me? Oh, Sam, sorry. Are you ready, Sam? Sure am. Let's go. Like I was saying, did you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you two are not going to start this game show without me, were you? Of course not, Jada. Thank you for being here. Anyways. Did you know that dolphins sleep with one eye open? True or false? Oh, man, that's tough. Um, I haven't ever seen a dolphin sleep, have you, Sam? Me? Of course, all the time. Oh, really? No, <laughs> of course not. But I bet it's true, don't you? You know, it sounds weird enough to be true, right, kids? So I'm gonna go with true. Yeah, me too. True, final answer. Correct to both of you. Yes. <laughs> Great job. Next question. Did you know that you can see the Great Wall of China from space? True or false? Oh, I know this one. It's true. Yeah, I remember hearing about this in school. I vote true as well. All right, Carl. True. Final answer. Oh, bummer. I am sorry, but this is actually false. What? No way. I remember learning about that. I'm sorry, Sam. It actually says here, astronaut Yang Liwei confirmed you can actually not see the Great Wall of China. He traveled to space himself, proving thousands of textbooks and people wrong. Wow. I had no idea. Ugh, ouch. I feel like I've been lied to my whole life. It's okay, Jada. We have one more question for this round, right, Carl? We sure do. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Final question. Did you know that Jesus defeated death? True or false? Okay, okay, I know this one. This is definitely true. Well, hold on there, Jada. That's a pretty big claim. I mean, who can defeat death? No one can do that. Mm, well, you're right. Thank you. Not just anyone can defeat death, but Jesus? Oh, he definitely can. Jada is correct. Jesus did in fact defeat death. But I'm kind of with Sam on this one. How did Jesus defeat death? I mean, last week you were telling me he was walking in Jerusalem. I mean, he was being treated like a king. What happened? Well, things got pretty difficult for Jesus after that. He was betrayed by one of his friends, and he was taken by the officials there in town. Why, though? Jesus didn't do anything wrong. Well, you're right, but that's not the way the religious leaders saw it. They thought he was a liar and a person who had no respect for God, so things got bad. How bad? Bad, bad. Jesus was hurt and even killed by the religious leaders. He was put onto a cross to die and then his body was taken to a tomb. Kind of like a cave that's covered with a big rock. Oh man, that stinks. What a terrible ending to that story. Well, that's the cool thing, Carl. This isn't the end of the story. Really? What happened? Well, on the third day of Jesus being in the tomb, a few women showed up to bring some spices to honor Jesus. And guess what? The spices went up their noses and made them all sneeze? <laughs> uh, not quite. They looked and saw that the stone had been rolled away. Wait, rolled away? Did a guard do it? Did one of the disciples do it? What about one of the women? Nope, none of them rolled it away. They were shocked. Then suddenly two men dressed in clothes as bright as lightning showed up. Angels! Was it angels? I bet it was angels. 
They were angels. And they said, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Wait, they're saying that Jesus had rose from the dead? That's insane. Right? So the women ran to the disciples and told them, and they didn't believe the women. Oh, come on. Where's the faith, everybody? Well, Peter ran up there and saw where Jesus had been and realized it all must be true. <laughs> That's incredible. Just imagine the shock. The shock of what? Of the people back then. I mean, they witnessed Jesus being killed. People saw his body carried into the tomb, and then three days later, bam, he's alive. Isn't it incredible? I mean, that's why we celebrate Easter. Jesus may have died, but because he rose means that all of his promises are also true. I guess you're right. Because he's alive, we can trust he loves us. And if we believe in him, our sins are forgiven. What awesome news. <laughs> I learned so much today. Not only do dolphins sleep with one eye open, but our big idea is, did you know Jesus is still alive? And I think great news like that needs to be shared and said out loud. So let's all say it together on the count of three, all right? One, two, three. Did you know Jesus is still alive? Yay, great job, kids. I cannot wait to hang out with you all again. Make sure to tune in next week for the final episode of Did You Know? where we will be finding out the winner of the 100 foot tall chocolate Easter bunny. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.